Hey folks, a uh, quick follow-up to yesterday's video about th throttle and motor output scaling in Betaflight 4.0. Um, there were a couple things mentioned in the comments that need to either get a signal boost so you know about them if you're trying to do this, or that actually there's a misconception that needs to be corrected. Um, the signal boost is that apparently there's a bug in Betaflight 4.0 where if you change the PID profile but you don't power cycle the flight controller, then the motor scaling doesn't go into effect. So when I switch from PID profile 2 to PID profile 3 and change from throttle scaling to motor scaling, depending on whether I power cycled before that exact flight, I actually don't this video took about two days to record and there were a lot of flights that like I would fly it and it would fall out of the sky and I'd go, hmm, why did that happen and try and fix it? I didn't put all of that in the video because I didn't want it to be a 45 minute long video of me trying and failing to fix it. I just put the conclusions in, which led some of you guys to think I didn't try very hard. It's tough to make editing. Anyway, I'm whining. So if you change PID profiles to activate the motor scaling, then you must power cycle the flight controller for that to take effect. The other thing some people said is that the motor output limit is just a limit. It's clipping the motor output. It's not scaling it down. And that might affect how the PID controller interacts with it. I've done some research on that and it turns out that's not actually true. So thank you to this guy who goes by Bismar on my Discord and he reached out to eTracer who is a dev who is knowledgeable about these things. And what he tells me is that motor output limit takes the D shot motor command right before sending it to the ESC and scales it by the desired percent. He also points out that it currently looks to only work with D shot. Perhaps he's still working on getting a definitive answer about that. So motor output limit is in fact a scale. It is not a clip. And this alternate method that some people suggested in the comments of using the custom motor mixing is not necessary. It accomplishes the basically the same thing, except you have to be using D shot. Apparently, if you're using multi shot, then you might still need to use the motor mixing. <clears throat> The last thing I want to acknowledge is that some people were disappointed I didn't dig in deeper to try and solve this problem. It's always a challenge for me to figure out uh, how long is long enough for a video. Uh, sometimes I make these 45 minute long epic videos and sometimes I go, okay, it's time to just pull the trigger and push this video out. And if there's more investigation to be done, we'll put it in another video. Um, in this case, these particular quads, no matter what I did, I couldn't get them to not desync. It seemed like they were desyncing and seemed like an ESC related issue, which is why I didn't dive into the PIDs more deeply in the video. Um, mostly what I wanted to do is just, doc I just wanted to document these features, the throttle and the motor scaling. And I thought doing 6S high KV would be like, I just expected to be like, oh, interesting, it flies. And then we then we just get on with our day. So I never set out to make this in-depth troubleshooting video. I just, just wanted to document those features. I, I want to look further into it. And I know that this works for many other people who are doing it. Why didn't it work on these particular quads? Why? Uh, that's a video for another day, though. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope this was helpful. Your regularly scheduled video will be coming out today. I just wanted to kind of get this out as a follow-up to some of those issues that were raised. Thank you. Happy flying.